best movies of the year. Presenting by Anna Five. Number 17. Number 17 on the list, Spider-Man Homecoming. Another uh, sort of reboot of the Spider-Man franchise and also another movie in a superhero universe that has taken a lighter, more humorous bent on what was traditionally tried to be more adult fare. What was your opinion on Spider-Man Homecoming? I think Spider-Man Homecoming is wonderful. It's a great comedy, like John Hughes style high school film about like, like instead of just a rehash of an origin story or Peter Parker being cool and riding a skateboard and being miserable, and said it's this fun, lighthearted film where it's Peter Parker, like, instead of developing his origins, developing him, like, how he got his powers, it's more him growing as an individual throughout, uh, like, in high school and growing, like, become, becoming more of an adult, especially when it comes to, like, him as Peter Parker and then him as Spider-Man, like him developing like throughout this movie in this wonderful, really light-hearted uh, comedy. It's a really fun entry for Spider-Man. And I would even say Tom Holland is probably the best on-screen Spider-Man. Finally, here we go. Good evening, Peter. Oh, you have 576 possible web shooter combinations. That is awesome. <laughs> I can keep that suit? Yeah, it doesn't fit me. So when's our next retreat? What, next mission? We'll call you, all right? That's not a hug, I'm just grabbing the door for you. We're not there yet. All right, kid, good luck out there. Hey, Peter, you coming tonight? I can tonight. I got the Stark internship. What's up, guys? Mr. Stark, here's my report for tonight. I stopped the uh, Grand Theft Bicycle. Hey, could you do me a favor? Hold on to that. Does anybody fight? Oh, I helped this old lady and she bought me a churro. So, that was nice. I just feel like I could be doing more. Wait a minute. You guys aren't the real Avengers. Hulk gives it away. New move I'm working on. Not bad. Oh, oh my God, this feels so strange. Oh. Hey These weapons are crazy dangerous. Listen, Peter, there are people who handle this sort of thing. Can't you just be a friendly neighborhood Spider-Man? Let go of me! Let go of me! Activating parachute. The world's changing, boys. It's time we change, too. This is my chance to prove myself. We have a Spanish quiz. We gotta get better at this part of the job. I don't understand. Yeah. Oh. I'm intimidated. Oh, hey, guys. My friends are up there. Hey, where are you going? What are you hiding, Peter? Yes, I'm just kidding. I don't care. Bye. There's a ton of other subsystems in here, but they're all disabled by the training wheels protocol. I'm sick of Mr. Stark treating me like a kid. But you are a kid. Yeah, a kid who can stop a bus with his bare hands. One of the negative aspects for that movie being like, it looks too similar to some of the other MCU movies. Like the way that, uh, like the cinematography, it's too similar. It doesn't have its own distinct visual like flair style like the Sam Raimi Spider-Mans. And uh, the, the fights are, there's not enough grit to those fights like the Raimi, Raimi Spider-Mans, but there can be a little leeway when it comes to that because they're, it's much more like a lighthearted, comedic, John Hughesy tone. Yeah, I think the lack of grit in those areas really uh, propped up what I thought was the biggest attribute to it. I think Spider-Man Homecoming was a very appealing coming of age story that spoke, resonates very well with the new generation of Spider-Man fans and opens up opportunities to take the story, the character, and the world in places that haven't been thought of before, which I think is exciting and really reinvigorates that franchise.